How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games and another Daz Watchers. Uh, you guys, for literally like a week or so now, have been screaming at me to watch a kid called Johnny Orlando. Never heard of Johnny Orlando. Don't know his story. I did a little bit of research. I think he's from Musical.ly. He's another Musical.ly kid. He's got another music video. And you guys won't let up. You keep saying his name to me. And I have to pay attention, so here I am. I, I pretty much... Don't know what to expect. Uh, the kid might be absolutely incredible. But, let's give it a watch, shall we? Oh, shit. We're in space? Oh, I guess that's Johnny, right? Oh, for fuck's sake. Who's that? Is he holding his own hand? You know that trick on camera when you make yourself hold your own hand so you don't look lonely? And then you post it on Insta- I don't do that. I don't do that. <laughs> that, that would be stupid. <laughs> mm. What the fuck is he doing to the spacecraft? What? He's welding? That's your first question, Johnny. Why are you acting so shy? It's no one asking why these kids are in space and orbiting around the fucking Earth. Fixing shit with welding material. No one's asking that. And let, let me tell you something, Johnny. That girl right there, she's not shy. Look at that. She's keen as shit. She doesn't seem surprised at all that you're both on a spacecraft. But maybe in the future, kids get engineering degrees quicker because of enhanced... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> She's not hiding, she's right in front of you. Oh shit. What were they doing to the kids making a march? Are they raising an army of well-groomed children? Look at it! Look! They're marching! They're saluting! This is like the deleted version of Independence Day. This is what the new film was supposed to be. Children invade Earth and they take over and they will not stop until our hair is like his. Flawless. <laughs> Oh shit! Well, you know what? Bravo on the dancing. Um, that's probably better dancing than I could fucking do. It's like the first kid I've actually seen who actually danced as well. I mean, it, it, it was all right, wasn't it? Let, let's let's look at the dancing again. I mean, they're in time-ish, you know. All right, one point to Johnny. <laughs> Why is Johnny in a tank? Look. Why is he in a tank? What are they doing to him? Are they jealous of him? Huh? Like, oh shit, he keeps outperforming us in dance. Let's lock him in a fucking tank. What's he doing in a tank? Johnny, what's going on? What are you doing in a tank, man? Come on! Without a single worry, going so high we what's the story? What's the story, right? You're on a spaceship. You've got an engineering degree, you're locked in a tank, you like a girl, but you're both, you're both three years old. Like, what's the story here? Who's running this ship? What, what planet is that? Is that Earth? Ah, wait a second. I think I know the story here. The children built a spacecraft in the shape of an Oreo because that's fucking relatable. And then they orbited Earth, which is now a desert. And look at all these meteor impacts. Huh? That's some sci-fi shit. Earth is now uninhabitable. And they are hovering above the Earth in a fucking Oreo until they can go back down. But even though Earth is destroyed and its resources are depleted, they still have the ability to possess so much hair gel that their hair and makeup is on fleek. That Bravo Daz. Come on, Bravo Daz. That's, that's observation right there. I have amazing observational skills. <laughs> oh shit, don't. Don't do it. Don't hold hands. Don't get romantic. You, you won. Don't do it. Don't do it! Oh fuck, it's about to go down. Uh, what? What, is, is that it, Johnny? Is that what you do when a girl holds your hand? You don't kiss or make out. You just, you go, I'll oh, come into my room of big squeezy clouds. <laughs> Let, let's go squeeze some clouds together. I know you'll love it. The fuck is that? It's like a, it's, 
looks like a candy floss room. Why is there a candy? The ship makes no sense. It makes no sense. Why have you got a room full of candy floss to touch? That's perverted. Oh, shit. What was that? Did you see that handover? What the fuck was that? Look, look, look. They're in there. They're in there. They're walking past each other. Boom! They hand each other something. What was that? Was it a Game Boy? What the fuck was it? Oh shit, now they've handed it over. This control must be pretty important. What is this fucking room? What? <laughs> what? What is it? What are these pink things? What do they do? Why are you stroking them? She's gonna dump you, man. You were in there and you got fucked up. I guess we're gonna find out in a minute why he's in a tank. Don't rap. Don't rap. You know, I mean, I, the kid, right, is, he can dance, um, he, he, he doesn't have the worst voice I've heard out of all these kids. Some could say, he's a pretty talented kid, but just don't rap. No, kids rapping, man, like, don't, don't do it. I can't, <laughs> go back to stroking clouds, please. <laughs> oh, shit. What's he doing? That control opened a door. Was that it? He pointed a control at the door. And, is that what everyone's fighting over? They just want to see what's behind this door. Please say the control does more than that. She looks like the girl out of Yandori Simulator. <laughs> oh shit, are they evacuating? Where are they going? That, there is entirely... <clears throat> Entirely too much makeup on this girl. Look, look at her face. Do you ever go to the checkout or you go to an airport, especially? And the air hostesses, they've got so much makeup on, their face is set. So if they were smiling when they put their makeup on, that's how their face stays. I can't, and that's that face. Look, they've got so much makeup on that kid. Her face is like concrete. Her face is set like that. <laughs> it's just like that, you know? All day long, like that. Even when she wants to be upset, she can't. Because she's like that. <laughs> you ever done that when, when you're in the fucking, you know, the aeroplane and you're sleeping and they come round with the trolley and they wake you up, the air hostesses, with all that makeup on? You wake up to this. Hey, sir, would you like some refreshments? Because <laughs> they can't do anything else! Stop putting makeup on the girl! Jesus! Oh, will you just hurry up and fly away? Oh, shit, look! Look! They're evacuating the giant Oreo. I really don't know. Johnny! Johnny! Like, let me- let me just, you know, let me get involved in your idea here, okay? So you've got the big giant ass Oreo, which looks like, you know, massive chance of survival. Especially if you can afford to have great designer clothes and hair gel. And then you evacuated on this! This! This little vessel, which probably doesn't even have a pot of Pringles on, and you're evacuating that for this because why? I know they kept locking you in tanks, but are you literally just evacuating because you want to be alone with the girl? Ew, that can't be it. Please don't be it. Oh, go back to the Oreo. Alright, so you've chosen to evacuate. Holding hands. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't kiss. Don't touch her face! No! No face touch! Don't grab a woman's face! I've never done that! It's the second time now this has happened! What is wrong with children? It's not how you flirt! You don't go up to them and go... They don't like it! Every woman I've asked, if I said if I come up to them and go... Like that, and start fucking moth grabbing them... <laughs> they don't like it! Just talk to them! You haven't got to mush their fucking cheeks together! They're not a hamster, Johnny! All right. Let go now available on iTunes. No, 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 Johnny. I want a sequel. All right. I was actually like trying to find out what's going on in this story. So you had a kid on a ship. Their main jobs on this ship were to weld shit and dance. <laughs> and and then he found a girl, fell in love. All right. I can dig that. That's fine. And then they, there was some sort of control device being handed around. Don't know what that did. What did that do? You didn't tell us what that thing did. Why was it so important to everyone? And it looked like you stole it at the end just to open a door. What? That can't be it. And then you evacuated on an escape pod. Where are you going? 
Where are you going? Earth's destroyed. You're just going into space and you're going to die. You have just doomed much too makeup girl to death. All right? The story needs a little bit of reworking or we need a sequel. All right? Johnny, sequel. All right? I want to know what happens to you two in space or whether you just, just fucking died for no reason. <laughs> no booty is worth that much. All right? All right. So... Guys, um, thank you for recommending this video. My thoughts on it, honestly, um, it was actually, all jokes aside, probably one of the best um, kids' music videos that I've seen. The production value was great. The kids could actually dance. He wasn't actually that bad of a singer, although I don't know how much voice enhancements was involved. But, you know, the song itself um, wasn't actually terrible to the ears although obviously it's not my type of music and it's still it's still not great to me but you know to a younger generation of girls it's 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 doing what it's supposed to do johnny yours is the best one yet all right and i actually enjoyed the video i think that uh, i need closure though and i want to know what happens so that's my view johnny keep doing what you're doing man and make a sequel otherwise i i will swear to christ i will go insane because i need to know what happened <laughs> Like, love- That was so vicious, I'm so sorry. Guys! <laughs> Guys. Like, love, caress my channel! And I'll see you in the next video. Stay dazzling. In space.